All right, all right, all right. Hello, hello. This is Max and Welcome back to the Leslie series of Final Fantasy XIV. Currently level 50. Uh, we have completed uh, phase three of the Archon operation, which I'm thinking actually we are in, in the final steps of the Real Reborn actually uh, base game. And after that, probably we're going to start moving into the expansions. Um, Heaven's Earth, it's from level 50 to 60. Uh, then it's the next one. Um, what is it called? Heaven's Word and Shadowbringer is going to be there as well. And, and Walker at the end as well. So it's, it's 50 to 60, 60 to 70. I'm missing one. Hang on. Hang on, I got that all here. Heaven's Worth, 50 to 60. Uh, Shadowbringer, 60 to 70. Stormblood, 70 to 80. And then Invoker is the final one. So we're going to play all those as well. So uh, let's finish it up uh, a real reborn and trying to finish the story. Which I think we are kind of in operation phase four now, which is the final one and going to the the big machine and all the stuff. So, but for that we need to enter the Praetorium, which is a level fifty, and everything that we have done so far has been speed running. Um, so yeah, it's actually following whoever is doing anything and um, groups of eight that's kind of a stronghold it's not raid kind of level but again still is a 20 40 minutes easy um, and we did it in 20 minutes the last one and it was a speed running so um, I can imagine actually that normal one is around 40 minutes easy or an hour but we got a good group and now we are waiting for a new one actually to get uh, probably the final uh, phase of the operation um, but I don't know yet so we'll we'll check it out um, I also tried to figure out my leveling and levels 55 but yeah level 50 and we're not nowhere near actually that item level is 115. So we're still actually probably... Let's see if we have a, a necklace. Electrum Gorget. While we wait. And necklace 51. Is this a strength? We're oh, looking at uh, one with dexterity, like that one. It's 110, but it only costs 27, so that's that. And bracelets. Dexterity. Looks 30, 20. How much there is none? Uh, 18. Alright, those two stop pounding, mate. Um, we should be getting two new slots there and raise our bar to 83, but still 3,000. The ones that we played were in the 6,000. But apparently you need to start going into... That, that item level is 115, level 50. So we might need to start thinking about level 50, but item... Item level 100 and something, so... That, that's part of the problem. But to for what yeah, the for example the head 
Level 50 dexterity. Yeah, now we're talking here. Let's see if we can Kiri Kirimu Tricorne. That's the head. Kirimu coat. Oh, we don't have money now. That's 110. Bracers. Yeah, that's the, the item comparison is that we have Dexterity 15, so it still is a good trade. Still on to Kirimo, because it's 110 against 55, so now we need money. Um, now we got a new one there, we can save 87. Yeah, we need to start elevating our, our stuff. At least 110. So we need we need to buy all the all those things. How much for the boots? Kidding me? Three thousand. I think I will buy them. And what about legs? Okay, and what about hands? So this will give us more dexterity actually. Um, yeah, 4,000 something. So all we need is a new chest with, which is probably costing us too much at the moment. And then new rings. We need a new ring. Ring level 50. Do we have money to do that? Uh, rings level 50. Strength. Dexterity. One of these. 20,000. We don't have money. What about this one? Not existed. What about that one? No, we need we need more money for that. All right. So we're getting there. Um, again, we are kind of waiting for probably reach level eighties to start thinking about what's going to be. Um, our year and all the stuff so at the moment we're just leveling so whatever whatever we have at hand that's what we're gonna use um, and we're still waiting and I don't know if it is worth to sell all the um, everything that we have actually uh, in the saddlebags I don't know if it is advisable I need to have them here. I cannot open my saddlebag. Yeah. That's the question. All right. So we're going to wait here. And as soon as we're in the team, I'm going to go back. So hang on. And I'm going to pause and unpause when we have a team. All right, guys. I think we're in. Alright, let's do this. Hopefully with uh, a speedrun. 
I'm hoping for a speedrun, please. The Praetorium. And I hope it's, a, it's the final one, so I think this is going to be the the one that we're going to confront and then uh, end up the game, the base game, which is the level 50 kind of thing. And then move into the first expansion, which is Heavenworth. And that will level us until 60, that story. So I'm going to probably change the the logo so we can reflect actually the start of the expansion once we got that. Done. We are set to go. It's a lot of things going on in the screen. weapon yeah I think this is it this is the last one Yeah, they're going fast, so we need to catch up. First mini boss. Oh. 
this is the one. Now this one is gonna bring his own toy. Oh, the toy is gonna be the last. Is everybody watching the movie? That's not gonna happen. This is the second boss only. running yeah he's heading for the ultimate weapon Through the complex, this is oh, that's a lot. Yep, let's stay connected, keep doing what we're doing. Let's go.
movie time. Still operation. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Suitable armor. You can blast open the bulkhead. Where are my people? Special alloy, ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. Divert the power. Alright. Keep up with the speed run. I think we're halfway now, but we're nearly there. Oh. 
Hello, this is the second boss. It's not even the final one. Alright, what are the mechanics? Pretty fast. I see things on the floor, so... There might be something, unless this guy wants to just smash it. Speed running. still with the trash. In the midst of activating, that this guy is trying to slow us down. I think we're gonna pass over. Pass you over. Tanks. Two tanks. It's too much. As long as you keep the tanks happy, the PSS should take the, the roll. Hey, come on, 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 Changes a lot, mate.
The ultimate weapon is activated. Oh god. <laughs> that might require um, mechanics for sure. Yeah, we defeat the second boss, so now we are going to the main one. Power search. Oh. the ultimate weapon. All right. The chamber which housed the targets appeared to be saturated with etheric energies. This bond, but even if you look close, like you must go on. Just don't do anything. I'll put it all right. Okay, cool. It, yeah, this this has to have mechanics. All right, where do we go? Still is better than you, it mate. It's not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. Let, let's see. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartano and call them down? They will answer, so long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone, except for this, and you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise! For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, 
It is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. All right, let's see how speed running this is. Knowing this, but a single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea. Face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, for none among you has the power to stop me. Yeah. Let's see about that. Again, just watch out with mechanics. If any. Otherwise it's gonna be just a bunch of speed run thing. Which I think it is. <laughs> Sixty percent, fifty percent. Forty percent. You will escape. Guys, this is the final one. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we are all here. Uh, what do we do with that shit? <laughs> Fuck! What's the speedrun mechanics to do this? secret car in the back for things in the corner.
All right, here we go. Hello. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal she bears. So, this is what empowers her. Beyond mortal limits. We got all the crystals, mate. If you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. So it shall, for the Ultima Weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec fail to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima Weapon lies within its now beating heart. Uh, I'm not gonna give that to you. What have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells, 
to the very pinnacle of the heavens. The world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima! What the... Oh, we continue. Okay. <laughs> Such devastation! This was not my intention! Oh, Hydaelyn. It seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. But first, I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. We kill you once, we can kill you again. Adventurer! Let us find the answer together! Alright, how are we gonna do this? Tank, can you turn them around? I think we had another enemy actually lose. Heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Dead. And now the question of is the end of the Raw the Bomb, the base game, and now we are moving into Heavensworth, first expansion.
pathetic. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydaelyn! Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Yet to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the Primals. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. Hey! I'm going to find you now. You were not in the script, mate.
understand. They are too many! 